Welcome back everybody. We are bringing to you the first of the episode of Assassin's Creed 3 and I am so happy to freaking do this game because man it's one of my favorite freaking games ever. Especially uh, this one in particular. So uh, this one is my favorite uh, Oh, well, let's just put it this way. Okay, one, two, three, revelations. Uh, no, one, two, brotherhoods, revelations, and then the, uh, then three, black flag, all of them are my favorite. And the reason why I'm starting off with this one right now, because uh, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. I'll get through this one black flag rogue and unity and then before I start uh, syndicate or I'll get through I'll get through this one okay and then I'll see if you guys think that I should just do whole trilogy if I should do whole trilogy then I'll start from Assassin's Creed 1 and I ho I'm hoping I can record it because I am going to be playing it on the PC so Xbox is I'm waiting for my uh, for a new HDMI cord because the Xbox is acting kind of funny with the HDMI cord that I have right now so that's the only reason only thing that's holding me up and also also on that that note too I had to restart I have to restart all the way from Assassin's Creed 1 so it won't be any different of restarting on this one from from the PC up to then, you know, so it, it wouldn't be any difference. But I'm really looking forward to getting into a game with you guys, getting into this game with you guys, and taking you guys along along the way because man, it's been a long time since I played this game. It's been I would say maybe th close to three close to four maybe five years since I've last played this so it's I really like this game and and also I really like a uh, black flag and I can't wait to play that too but I'm after this one I'm gonna see what you guys think after the game's complete and see if I if you guys want to see me do start from Assassin's Creed 1 and do full trilogy or just uh, run with this one and start from this one and anything that's any more Assassin's Creed are coming up and just that way this is the last of uh, uh, Desmond Miles' story so I it makes kind of sense it refreshes my me memory on this one so yeah can't wait wow Fo I thought I'd put James X in that that was my fault I should even pay more attention to that Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up, or laughed them off, sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. Enzio. I do. Enzio Albatori. I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. 
a device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and Templars. bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Freaking Templars have Templars. the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know All that here. ominous date fast approaches. December 21st, 2012. <laughs> None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. <laughs> I'm so excited, so excited. Now the reason why I'm take, kind of taking a little small break from uh, uh, control right now is I'm at a stuck point right now. I'm at a point where I need to take a break from it, learn a little bit what's going to happen next, and then We're here. Refresh, refresh myself because I, I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss for it. Essentially, Whew. let's go. Uh, yes, Dad. Literally. Wow, we're literally out in the middle of nowhere. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Dude, that sounds like the guy that, uh, the guy of a freaking, um, uh, America's Got Talent or American Idol. Uh, Samuel or something like that. I don't know. It shows you how much I, I don't really pay attention to that movie, that TV show to begin with. I think we're here. I'm not very good at remembering their names anyway, so... Oh, 
Oh man, I'm excited. Ooh, yes. I haven't played this in forever, bro. And especially since this is the remastered edition, I'm very curious to see how how much how the uh, uh, graphics has updated. And so far, they look really good, much clearer. At least from what I remember. Some people will say, that is one big damn door. Some will say, it's blind in my eyes. <laughs> Naturally, you drop me into the animus instead of, I don't know, making Walks sure like I'm an okay. assassin. <laughs> you weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm Ooh. looking for, by the way. Excuse me. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Watch the marker over there. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Dude, I forget how... How fucking awesome the uh, parkour is on this. This is crazy. Out of all the games that I've ever played that does some kind of parkour, like Mirror or... Uh, um, God, what is the name of that game? Dead by... Or Dying Light. Dying Light 2. Freaking... This Assassin's... Assassin's Creed has one of the best freaking parkours in their games, I think, in my opinion. Whoops. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Woohoo. Oh, no. Not what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> I, I meant to do that. Desmond, you're making me look bad. Okay, things are starting to load in, so we're gonna be getting into a memory. Be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? <laughs> Hate them. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, you are requested. He's kind of a bad. Well, he's a badass. <laughs> he's a straight up badass. But I, I don't know why he would. After being raised to the Templar, uh, as a Templar, I don't know why he would stay as a Templar. He makes Good a evening, sir. This way, better regular assassin. Apologies. Then a Templar. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. Employment. So is I one. already have. Like me too, he acted at double capacity, both against roads and for. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats, since we live by them. Sir, so that mall at St. Word. A thousand pardons. My apologies. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy that I'll stop in the evidence. Okay, sir. <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> well, I guess they kind of got their own little room, but... Still, it's the wrong place to do it, man. In the theater. Come on. Simple, man. Simple. I'm an assassin. It's 
the simplest thing ever. Pick locking for an assassin. It's child's play. You gotta give it to the, give it to them, man. The, the parkours, the parkour that they do on this is just freaking amazing. It's freaking amazing, man. How can you do that right in front of a kid? And didn't do this. find out real quick Anyone suspicious no, came from that group? Oh, no, Peace, friends, there is no danger. Oh, no. Certainly. Try to yeah. order. We must have order. I can't get out of here fast enough. Now, we gotta get out of here. That's the mission. But I'm hoping we get caught. I know it's not gonna happen. Right in that what are those men doing in there? But it's kinda, friends, kinda what I wish. We must Hate them is kind of a. Uh, a badass in himself, you know, in itself. He's a stud. And there's no prison that can hold him up. I'm just saying. He would just... The Templars will pay to get him out anyway, so... How was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. This book is to be believed. It will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies. 
should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen, how fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. <laughs> That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. But little did they know that the assassins always put an end to their plan up until, uh, when they're when we leave the Adamus, the, the Templars are not far behind us. So, if any of you guys are familiar with the story, Share might do me good. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Oh, you don't stick right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Oh, fancy a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. If you are, this is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No, but you should be. Do you? Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? meaning of this captain explain yourself at once mr kenway these thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport captain how about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead i wasn't aware i was paying you to loll about a word please mr kenway oh i nearly forgot there's your knife back
Right. I had to go eat, so. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Hathen's a freaking badass, man. Oh my god. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. He's a shifty Christ, fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Quiet! Biscuit. Here he comes. Make like you're working. You <coughs> there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook, or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. We'll do this guy first. Where is it? Oh, we'll, t we'll talk to this guy first. Uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the You sound just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me... James. Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. <clears throat> I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive.
I can't wait to see the transition in between the different assassins. Dis different assassin creed games. The transition would be amazing. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Hmm. Okay, hey, Tham. Ah, chill. <laughs> He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. Guys, we're stuck with tin fish. Someone needs to. Most curious. Most curious. This is where it gets interesting. They left the trail. Hatham was supposed to uh Any news? Investigate it. Nice the same. I scout one area and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? As near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load <clears throat> the cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, Secure Captain. Secure the hatch! Peyton. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? A rusty blade? Hmm, okay. Let's mess this guy up. God oh, damn it. Okay, so break, counter.
Oh, shit. It's kind of hard to judge it right there. Oh, shit. You're looking kind of bloody, man. Are you sure you want to continue this? Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. What was that all about? Oh, there, come on there, Hathen. Jeez, can you not climb or something?
barely make it out alive. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. For that being the first episode in Assassin's Creed, I'm gonna see after this cutscene. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it after this cutscene. <coughs> if there is one. Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Uh, your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? I can go for a little ah, bit longer. But he's Just yet to reach America, longer. and I figured I might... Because well, I know... At least until this... he arrives, I thought. Yes? Out with him. Actually, you Forgive know Forgive me, no. sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. We're gonna end it right here, though, because I don't want to get any further. It's gonna—it's already close to about an hour. I still got a uh, an hour stream close to it. Um, just shy about five minutes, but by the time I'm done with this, it'll be done. It'll be about an hour or so. Um, anyways, I thank you guys for watching up to this point. Um, if you guys haven't done so already and you guys want to see more of the Assa Assassin's Creed series, uh, if you want me to do the whole trilogy, please give me a thumbs up and also leave it in the comments below if you want to see me continue from where I'm at right now or if you want me to start from the very beginning. If I continue, if I start from the beginning, I'm still going to... Sorry, excuse me. I'm still going to at least be able to uh i'm still gonna finish this game but i'm gonna go get uh assassin's creed one and then two and then uh brotherhood revelations and all that and then get up to assassin's creed three and then um we can do that but if you guys don't think it's a good idea uh just leave a comment comment saying no don't do it you don't need to it's not necessary you already started on this one which will make sense um this is a start of this one, 
I'm thinking about doing a third one after we get like maybe four or five episodes into this one and then five more episodes in, into the uh, into control because we're not done with control but we're gonna come back to that so definitely hit that subscri subscribe button definitely hit that follow button and make sure you hit that notification so the notification you don't miss out on, on any of the episodes that I do on either Assassin's Creed 3 and control. You guys have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.